Hello! In this video I'll upgrade my homemade 100 watts LED flashlight with high quality LED cob chip from UG LED. If you need one, check UG's online store. I'll also leave a link in the description. This LED chip came from the best LED manufacturer at the moment what I know, UG LED. This cob chip is daylight white version with 5600 kelvins. It has very high color rendering index, which is equal to 95. I don't try to explain what it is and why it's important, because DIY Perks already did it and made a great video about that. So I leave a link in video description, and if you are interested, you could watch it. In my homemade flashlight, I used cheap 100 watts LED chip from eBay. Full DIY video you could watch by clicking a link in corner. Before installing UG's chip to my flashlight, I'll give you a great example how to identify poor quality LED chips. Good quality LED chip, as this one from UG LED, must start operating from specific voltage. In 100 watts LED chip case, from 23 volts. All 10 by 10 small LEDs rows must start glowing evenly, with the same intensity of light. When increase voltage and current, all individual LEDs must outshine evenly too. Now let's take off my old LED chip, which came from eBay for a few bucks. As you could see, this one will start operating for about 12 volts. Plus, small LEDs inside of chip starts glowing randomly. When increase voltage and current, some LEDs will light up brighter and more and more LEDs will kick in. It means that this LED chip was discarded by LED manufacturer quality control as waster. Because they still glow, a lot of eBay sellers try to sell them as working ones for a few bucks. Yes, they work, in some kind of way and efficiency. Before mounting a new LED chip, apply some thermal grease. Solder terminals, screw the reflector with lens, and flashlight is ready to go. I'm very impressed about this huge LED chip light quality. There is no green tones like a crappy LED chip from eBay. That's why it is perfect for applications demanding high color quality and light output. Thanks for watching.